Hello, and welcome to our session today on joy and practice. I'm Julie Garcia. I'm the president of our Medicaid long-term care programs here at United Healthcare Community Plan of Texas. Yeah, thank you for joining our session. I'm Tanya Dixon. I'm the manager of employee engagement at United Healthcare's Community Plan of Texas. Today, we're excited to share with you a program that we launched within our organization of United Health Group. We had the great opportunity to partner with our, my colleague, Jennifer Meyer, through the Centers for Clinical Advancement to address burnout and promote professional joy to our thousands of clinicians. And joy in practice is really focused on finding our meaning, our purpose, and our professional identity for clinicians. Yeah, the thing to keep in mind about joy in practice though is that it doesn't mean that there will be an absence of burnout or stress or anxiety. Those things are gonna exist, but rather reconnecting with your purpose and finding a way out of those stressors. Um, I am not a clinician. I did participate in the session, and I walked away with great tools and techniques to reconnect my joy for why I am doing what I do. Absolutely. And in order to determine what we really needed to focus on here in Texas, we used a host of methods to identify burnout and joy. We used roundtables, surveys, interviews, and industry research to really get the specifics on really what impacts our clinicians. Yeah. I mean, the, the fact that we took the time and asked is sometimes all you need to do to remember yeah. why you're doing what you're doing and know that there is a way out of those stressors. Um, Most definitely. Really, since we're focusing on joy, what brings you joy? Well, you know, I would say as I'm a nurse, so as a registered nurse, um, you know, it sounds a little cliche to say that I enjoy helping people, but really that is the core of who I am. I, um, I really enjoy making a difference in our members' life even each and every day. Um, even the little things make a difference. And, and that's really what, you know, I try to resonate to all of our staff here. Absolutely. And again, I'm not a clinician, but have a pretty similar passion behind helping people. And, and mine is more around yeah. training and development and having those aha moments through new techniques and learnings. And so yeah. that's really where I get my joy from. Most definitely. Um, and, you know, the results that we had here in te Texas really focused on um, two key initiatives that we wanted to, to roll out here in Texas. One was work efficiencies and the second was self-care. We've already done a lot of work on the work efficiencies, either through automation or streamlined processes. Now our focus is really on self-care for our clinicians. And I mean, this is the right time, right? Because now definitely. Our stress. All of us are having some changes. And so it's hard to sometimes see the way out of that. And self-care is a huge thing, as we know, yeah. especially for women, we tend to put people in front of us and want to take care of others. But we do also have to take those moments for ourselves and know it's okay. It's okay to take most, that. Yeah, most definitely. Um, I wasn't really surprised being a clinician myself. I wasn't surprised that um, we always put other people first. Um, but yeah, it, if you think about the analogy of being on an airplane and if the oxygen, oxygen mass drops, um, you're really supposed to put that on first before you can help others. It's really the same premise. Um, we really need to make sure that we take care of ourselves as clinicians um, in order to take care of everybody that depends on us. Right, and absolutely. I mean, that's true of anybody, right? That's true of all of us. And so I'm really yes. pleased that this next phase of our um, pilot or moving beyond our pilot is actually really focused on those tips and techniques to get yourself out of those stressors. That, that's right. Um, even though our initial phase here in Texas is finished, the work here is, is not done at all. Um, we are, this year, we're really focusing on stress and resiliency opportunities for our clinicians and mindfulness techniques mm -hmm. to really um, impact their daily lives. Um, because as we all know, these last few months have been a little stressful for all of us, um, and even more so for, for some of our clinicians. So, this, this work is very, very important to us. Right. And a great quote that comes to mind is stated by Pablo Picasso. The meaning of life is to find your gift and the purpose of life is to give it away. Mm -hmm. um, we hope you've enjoyed your session, to, our session today um, with Tanya and I on joy and practice. We're really, really excited about this work here that we're doing at United Healthcare. We look forward to the rest of the conference. We hope that you have a great day and thanks for visiting with us today. Absolutely. And when you feel stressed, look for the joy. Thank you. Have Find a the day. joy. <laughs> Thank you.